Hey what's going on guys it's Mooney here and today I've got another episode of my squad builders and today we're going to be covering Russian League V2 in a different formation this time to the 4-1-2-1-2 formation I used and I was the biggest, I'll admit I was the biggest critic criticizer of the Russian League team because I really really hated it but I've come to change my mind about this team, different players, different formation and I think they work pretty well in this team so it did, It like the Netherlands team it took me a while to get playing with it properly but when I got playing with it properly it's an absolute beast team. It, in goal we've got Akinfeev, he's not the greatest goalkeeper in the world for the stats you see there, going to cost you about 25,000 coins, but by no means is he bad, he's a, he's a good goalkeeper but not fantastic for the price you're going to pay and for the stats he's got there, he's got a poor kick on him, his throw is a lot more effective, he can reach third than the halfway line with his throw, so I'd say just throw it all the time with him and generally your players do, if you come to the ball over your opposition you'll, you'll always receive it in, instead of with kick you can just, it's 50-50 really and if they've got a really good defender in there they'll probably win the ball but a left back we've got the normal left back for the Russian league team that everyone's probably going to have it's Anne Saladi who's going to cost you about 2,000 coins he's a very very good player solid when you when, when you defend him but he's good going forward as well he has he, he's got a poor shot on him but he can have a shot if he wants and he's got a but he has got a good cross on him which you're going to need in this formation when you're trying to support that single striker at centre back we have a double Brazilian partnership I'm not going to try, try and pronounce his name because he's got an accent on it and I don't know how to pronounce the accent we've got Ferreira here and he's very, very good. One, one of the two Brazil centre backs that I've got here. Ferreira's going to cost you about 5,000 coins. The other one's going to cost you 4,000 coins. Ferreira is the better player, of course. 81 pace. Nice pace for a centre back is what you're always, what you're always looking for. And my other centre back, he's, he's good, but not as good as Ferreira, even though he's like one rank better. But I think they complement each other well. But the positioning can be a bit poor sometimes. But they are, they're not the greatest silvers. I think the high silver you can get, well, I know the high silver you can get is 74. So not the greatest ranks, but both rare. And I think better than Bru the last partnership I had with Bruno Alves and Benucci. Uh, right back we have Anna Yukov, and he's going to cost you about 24,000 coins. Uh, the inform, I don't really see much of a difference between the inform and the normal guard. And don't worry, even though he's out of position, he still has nine chemistry because he links with the CDM there. But otherwise, I don't I don't really see the point of paying 24,000 for him. He's, he's no real real difference to his other, than his other card. He's still a pacey player, but I, as I said, don't see real any difference. Uh, don't see any real difference our first sentiment is going to be team of the year Zhirkov and he's a very very good player going to cost you about 32,000 coins these prices may be a little bit higher because they buy it when the Russian League Cup was out which will be the tournament tour for this team but otherwise Zhirkov is a very good player controls the midfield well I think he came out as a sentiment but he worked really well as a, as a CDM and he, he also goes alongside Roberto Carlos he's got an absolute rocket of a left foot and a rocket of a free kick as well and these two complement each other well really really do work well together when they need to they sit in front of the back four but when they need to they can attack see when you go attacking or ultra attacking we work very very well together at center attack our first center attack mid is going to be danny now the reason i haven't got r shaven and the reason r shaven's on the bench is because r shaven has got a low attack and a low defense work rate he's awful he stands around he stands around the halfway line all the time and he just do, he just doesn't do any put any work in unfortunately danny's got a low defensive work rate but he's got a good medium work rate uh, for attacking but that's still not good enough if if he had high i think he'd be a fantastic player but the medium he works well because he's got a very good finesse shot and the position he gets into he, he can have a lot of shots with the finesse shot like just outside the box so i think it works well for him and the and the shot the shots he's got plus he's got five star skill moves as well danny again quite cheap though it's going to cost you about 1500 coins roberto carlos is going to cost you 2000 coins don't think i mentioned him our center forward is going to be wellington now the reason i've got again cage got another inform on the bench is just because wellington's better and you'll see in the tournament tour he's my super sub so i decided to put him in the starting 11 because i do prepare prefer to play wellington over kershkov and wellington is going to cost you about two thousand coins so I'll put to the price of the starting 11 down but otherwise kershkov would have cost you about thirty two thousand coins but kershkov is a good player but i don't think as good as wellington as you would have seen my other sense attack mid is going to be inform honda He's got a very poor finesse shot, 13,000 coins he's going to cost you. Again, poor finesse shot, but his power shot is quite good. I usually take him off if I'm struggling for Doombia, as you'll see in the tournament tour again, because chemistry gets locked when you go into the game. It doesn't really matter if Doombia is out of position, but otherwise, Honda's a good player to start with, but he doesn't seem to impact the game as much as I hope he would. And at striker, of course, we've got Samuel Eto, who I was cri critical in my last squad builder of him, and I got a qu well quite a few people moaning at me in the comments, and I couldn't understand why because 
after using him in this formation and with Wellington, Danny Honda supporting him, he is a very, very good player. One of the best strikers I've played with. And I'll have to admit my own mistake in saying he was bad because he's not. He's a really, really good player. And especially with four-star skills. I think one thing that left Honda down is he's only got three-star skill moves as well. So the starting 11 is going to cost you about 167,500 coins. And we'll just whiz through the subs. The spare centre-back, uh, he looks good. He is quite solid as well. He's going to cost you about 2,000 coins. The right back Angboa, I think I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not 100 percent sure, but he's going to cost you about 4,500 coins. Basically, only going for his pace. The other centre mid or CDM is going to be Denisov. Going to cost you about 700 coins. He's very very good. Don't underestimate him. He's got quite solid stats for an 80. Even though he's not rare, he's a very very good card. Don't underestimate him. Arshi haven't as I said. The only reason he's not in the team is simply because he's got low attack and low defence work rate. Just a ve very, very poor in that sense. If he had medium work rate for attacking, he'd be a brilliant player. But otherwise, I don't like him. 30,000 coins he's going to cost you. Carlos Eduardo, our spare centre forward, going to cost you about 2,000 coins. 75 shot does really reflect the shot, but he's got good skill moves, good pace, good dribbling. So, uh, Kirchkoff's going to cost you about 32,000 coins. He's got 90 pace, 89 shot. Good player, but not as good as Wellington. And Dumbia, again, just, just there for the pace. He has got a poor shot, 77 shooting. Going to cost you about 2,000 coins. The start 11 cost 167,500 coins. Would be with Kajakov in. I wrote it down differently to, than, to, than to the team I had. But otherwise, the whole squad's going to cost you 205,700 coins. Quite an expensive squad, maybe. If I don't know how much coins people who watch my videos have but hopefully you enjoyed this video leave a like if you think you deserve this subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys later